was that? supposed to be here. Lovely couple. be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her, for all time. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day, Iris locked the front door lay down here and died from grief, from loneliness. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You wanna leave this place, leave these bodies. Surprised? No, not at all. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. Sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. 
Iris von Everek adored flowers. But she would never want to destroy them. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everek have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. I guess I'll be the one to do that. Can't say much about Iris von Everek, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear, yet all deserve respite and peace in death. I don't know if you want to be buried with a painting of your husband. But you live together, so maybe you want to be with him in death as well. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The Painted World. The work of Iris von Everek. How'd you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? 
This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Spectres of Olgid and his wife, but why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete, blurred. You must peer closely and restore it. Piece of tableware for an afternoon tea or breakfast. Probably not right. Probably not right. The spirit from the step. Read often, well worn. Palette. 